Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, so from the beginning, you can, by the way, you can watch the video by yourself. I'm just trying to save time so I can have time myself to answer the, the video name, uh, the Quran Challenge and Salam TV Philippines. All right. So feel free, please, to watch the video yourself. Uh, uh, don't think I'm avoiding playing all of it for a reason. I don't want you to see it, not see it. Because if you see it, actually, you will laugh even more. Uh, and it's better if you see it before you see my video. So you can laugh even more. Now, the whole video here, supposedly, is about uh, him uh, speaking about uh, you should worship only the Creator. You know what? I have no problem with this, for sure. We, as a Christian, we should only worship the Creator. And actually, who told you we don't? Secondly, he, this guy, he claimed to be a scholar in Islam, but he made a very huge mistake. He said that those Christians who worship uh, Christ, they invoke Christ, which means they worship Christ, but they don't worship Allah. According to the Quran, you are wrong. According to me, you are right. So you just admitted that the Quran is teach false teaching because according to the Quran, the Christian, they don't worship Jesus. The, the, the Christians worship Jesus as if he is Allah in one verse, and the Christian, they worship Jesus and Mary and Allah in different verse. So this is why, according to Islam, Christians are considered as uh, mushrikeen, not pagans. So you are false again. I mean, you just prove that your Quran is a false book because if uh, either you are right or uh, and Allah wrong or Allah is right and you are wrong. And as long you admitted that the Christian, they believe in Jesus as, uh, uh, as God and you did not mention that they believe in Allah, it's mean the Quran is a fabricated book, uh, and just to uh, just to to uh, to show you what I'm talking about before we jump to the to continue in the video, according to the Quran in this verse chapter five verse seventeen, Jesus according to the Quran uh, the Christian they claim that Jesus he is Allah, which is very funny because none of us believe in Allah anyway. Allah is, is not exist. Allah is a false god. So who is the Christian who believe that Jesus is Allah? This is a very false statement. So again, you just made a false argument because you are saying you should worship the Creator and that supposedly cannot be Jesus, but yet the Quran is saying that Jesus, according to the Christians, he is Allah. And if you are saying Allah is the Creator, that means the Christians worship the Creator, which is Allah, which is Jesus in the same time. So who is the one here is confused, you or Allah? I will consider you both confused. It's okay. Because Islam is a religion of confusion. It's okay. No problem. In the different verse, Allah, he says that the Christian, they worship Allah and Mary and Jesus. That is more confusing, huh? Which is proving you again to be uh, wrong or Allah is wrong. Again, just another one more verse, chapter 4, verse 171. It says, Allah, he's saying to the Christians, don't say people of the book, those are the Christian and the Jews, and specifically here, supposedly the Christians, uh, don't say that Jesus is uh, uh, that Allah is one of three. So you are again wrong, and obviously you do not know what the Christianity believe in, and you do not know even what your Quran is saying. Now, now let us let us continue and love more about the the challenge he is making. So here we reach the point where he says the Quran has a challenge. What is the challenge? Let us see. You know what? Your Arabic is really funny and it's driving me nuts. Uh, please take my advice. Don't try to speak in Arabic because you, do, because you don't know Arabic. I don't know what, what language you are reading with. Uh, uh, I could not understand what he's saying. However, I'm going to go to chapter 46, verse number 4, as it shows in the screen. And let us see what the verse is saying. This is the verse he is saying here, chapter 46, verse number 4. And the challenge is, if you are worshipping, you are worshipping someone else, not Allah, well, you know what, bring for me your book, your scriptures, and show me that your God created anything. And simply, this is a very stupid challenge, with my respect to the Abdul he's talking there, because this uh, challenge can be refuted easy. Like he said, that uh, the Buddhas, they don't believe in God who created anything. This is false. There are books saying many stories about God creating the whole universe. However, I'm not going to speak for the Buddhas because I'm not a Buddha anyway. I'm a Christian. So the challenge is, if you are worshipping God, bring your book which is proving that your God created anything. 
Okay, here we go. I accepted the challenge. Let us go to the book of the Christians, which is my book, to show you that the book of the Christians says clearly that Christ, he created the whole universe. Watch, Abdul. This is the Bible in front of your eyes, and you can take your time to read any translation. By the way, the Muslims, they keep saying to the Christians, oh, you have many versions of the Quran, of the Bible. This is a translation, Abdul. This is not different. Uh, when we say version, it's just a translation. We don't have different Bible. The Bible is written in three languages, original, and everything else is a translation. It's the same as your Quran, as you see. It is a translation, but yet you don't say it is, it is okay. You know, you, there's a problem. Translation of Big Tal, translation of Yusuf Ali, translation of Shakir, etc. So this is not different Bibles, those are just a translation. Because falsely, Muslims teach each other saying that Christians, they have a new Bible every day. We have a new translation every day, not a new Bible. And there is a huge difference. I can translate the Bible right now, and I can name it the new translation of the Bible by me. Right? You can put your name we want, but still it's a translation. Nobody claimed that this is the original scripture. Everything in the world is a translated is as a translation show us. Everything is created by him which is Jesus, for him which is Jesus. Whatever is in earth, whatever is in heaven. So you are saying to me the challenge, bring your book, the scriptures, which it shows that your God, He is the one who created everything. Secondly, uh, you know the challenge here is again stupid. Why? Because according to your God in the Quran. According to him, not according to me as a Christian. According to him, the God of the Christian is Allah too. So that's a very stupid challenge. Because you just deny that Allah can be creator or anything. Because as long as the Quran says that the God of the Christians is Allah, or he at least is one of three of them, the Trinity, it means you just deny your God to be a creator in the same time. However, for sure we don't believe in Allah, and we don't believe he can create anything. And we have a proofs for that. Let us show the proofs. This is the Quran, chapter 6, verse number 37. People around Muhammad saying to him, You know what? You are a prophet. All right, no, no problem. We will believe in you. But how come your God never sent any miracle to you? And they have said, If only, only, like we wish, only, like once, at least once. Like, come on, at least once. His Lord sent down a miracle. What is the answer? Surely Allah, he can do that. So, do it. <laughs> so, so when a Muslim says, I challenge you to show me that your God created anything, not only it's a stupid challenge, because I can say the same challenge for him, will show me, challenge you to show me that your God can create anything, and then he, he will find out that challenge is, show me it's written in your scripture. Okay, we find it's written in our scripture, but this is not proof of nothing. But yet in your Quran, there's a very clear evidence that your God he never sent miracles to Muhammad. And not only this, because you might say later he sent miracles, right? Let me show you another verse. Say clearly that Allah, he refrained. That's it. He will never send a miracle. And I will show you how we can expose this excuse. Because I believe strongly it's just a false excuse. Chapter 17, verse number 59. If you, By the way, listen to me so you can learn Arabic. وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَنْ يُرْسِلَ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَنْ كَذَّبَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلُونَ And what made us refrain, read with me the translation of the Muslims. This is not my translation. Hmm? I notice you yourself, you are reading from Yusuf Ali translation. And we refrain from, the, from sending the signs, which mean the miracles, only because the men of former generations treated them as false. So Allah what? Allah refrain. Allah always sent miracles, and today he refrained. Where? When, when Muhammad became a prophet. He sent 124,000 prophets. Always he sent miracles according to the Quran. But when it is the turn of Muhammad, the poor Muhammad, he will not have a miracle to support him. That is a very false excuse. And let me show you why. Muhammad, he have a God who cannot do miracles. So he have to come with this. And just to, to prove it, look what the excuse is. Because only, only, you see it says only, only, all right? Only because... Former generations, they treated them as false. As false. Now, is that true? Absolutely false. Because who is the former generation before Muhammad according to Islam? People of the book. Who are the people of the book? The Christian and the Jews. Do the Jews believe in Musa's miracles? Yes. 
Do the Jews believe in every prophet God sent to the Jews miracles? Yes. Do the, uh, the Jews believe, believe in Eli Elijah and uh, all the prophets? Yes. And they believe in the miracles? Yes. So this is a false story. What about the Christians? Do the Christians believe in the prophet of the Jews and their miracles and the miracles of Jesus and even his apostles? Yes. So simply, this is a false excuse because your God cannot make a miracle, so he has to come with the potato tomato chips to give it in your mouth and say, you know what? The reason I'm not going to give you a miracle because people before me, they treated them as false. False. We as a Christian, we believe in every miracle God gave to his prophets. And as long as Quran consider us, the people of the previous scriptures, it means he is talking about us. We are the former generations. When we believe, and you know that. And actually, uh, not only we believe, according to Muslims, because the miracles of Jesus was extreme, powerful, that make them think that Jesus is God. So this is again a proof that Allah to be a liar here. I'm not saying, by the way, Allah is a liar, because Allah does not exist. Allah is a fabrication of Muhammad. He is just copying the Arab God before him, which was Lah, not Allah, Lah. So uh, when, when the one who come with this excuse, he cannot make miracles, so he have to say, oh, I, the reason I'm not going to give you a miracle, okay, you know what? Why Allah did not say that to Moses? Why Allah did not say that to Jesus? According to Islam, Jesus, he got all the miracles. He got tons of miracles. Simply because the God of Moses is not the same as the God of Muhammad. The God of Muhammad is a fabrication. The God of Moses is true. And Jesus, he is the word of God, the power of God on earth. He can do miracles nobody can do. But the God of Islam, he cannot. Then he moved to the second point. And let us expose it. Now he go and say, and those who invoke Jesus, did Jesus create anything? Did he create singing? I, I like your finger, by the way. But, but, but please, when you debate me, bring your finger with you, because you need it. Listen, everybody saw the challenge. Did Jesus create anything, single thing in the world? And this is the challenge to prove that if he is, if he does, it's mean he is the creator and he is the Lord. We thank you very much. I will show you that he is the creator from your Quran. And that to prove that you are ignorant, you do not know your book, and the one who made the Quran is not a smart too because he made a challenge which is contradict what his Quran is saying. Let us read together. Chapter 3, verse number 49, it says the following. Uh, in Arabic it says, that the Messiah says, Jesus saying, I create for you, read it with me, I create for you, you see it? From the clay, what resemble a bird, and I blew into him, or breathed into him, and he will become a bird, living bird, by the permission of Allah. Now the Muslim, they will say to me, by the permission of Allah, this is a happen. However, listen, your God he did not permit, give me permission to expose Islam, but still I can do it. So your God's permission has no value, because we just showed that Allah, he cannot even make a miracle, and he refrained from making a miracle as an excuse. However, if Jesus have a permission from Allah or not, still he is the creator. And you just say, did Jesus create anything? According to your Quran, right now in, the, in this sky, there is a living bird who they are created by Jesus according to your Quran, unless you want to accuse your God to be a liar. This is how foolish this, this challenge is. Same time, if you, if you read with me here, you will notice that Jesus, he can raise people from death, and he can make the blind see. And to raise people from death, you have to be creator again. And not only this, Jesus, he can, and he can, heal everyone, and he can even tell you what you are hiding in your house. That means he is the person who can tell you the unseen. And according to Islam, the only one who can do that is God. So don't tell me that Jesus did not create anything in this universe. Your challenge is a foolish challenge, which is the Quran, is a foolish Quran. God bless you. Thank you very much. And by the way, remember, I accept your challenge. Contact me in my Facebook page.